Uh, good morning everyone. Now I'm going to show you the POC of the use case what I just spoke about. So now we are going to measure the distance using the ultrasonic sensor and finally the distance measured from the ultrasonic sensor will go to another device called Raspberry Pi. Here you can see it's a green board device and the data from the ultrasonic sensor is read by the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi and then we have a Python code which reads the data from GPIO pin and it publishes the data to the MQTT broker which is a public cloud and the subscriber who are subscribed to the topic of that broker they will receive the message notification. So this is the high level use case. So now before starting with the demo and all I will brief you about the individual component which is required for the circuit. The first and the most important sensor what we are using is the ultrasonic sensor that is SRHC004. It has four pins that is VGC, ground, trigger and echo pin. So ultrasonic sensor uh, generates a very high frequency ultrasonic waves and it receives the echo signal. The time interval it measures by the uh, time spent on the signal send and the echo received. We know the speed of the ultrasonic wave, we can measure the distance. So now apart from ultrasonic sensor we have a breadboard, then we have jumping wires, we have n number of jumping wires, here we are using male to female and we are using male to male jumping wires. Then we have a resistance over here, as you can see it is a 1k resistance and there is another resistance here that is a 2k resistance which we have connected in parallel so that the current from the ultrasonic sensor that is a 5 volt can be reduced to 3.3 volt and it can be sent to a raspberry pi over here because raspberry pi accepts 3.3 ampere current so here resistance acts as a voltage divider so now we have this raspberry pi it has 40 gpio pins uh, it is divided into two rows first row is called as the even slot and the second is the odd slot it has a black Broadcom microprocessor of 1 GB RAM and it has an SD card which has the Raspbian operating system just like Linux. We have the power source and the Ethernet cable slot that is connected to the laptop. We have few USB slots, HDMI port, camera slot. So this is uh, the Raspberry Pi. Apart from that we have an LCD onboarded. So here uh, the LCD is connected to the Raspberry GPIO pin as per the data sheet. Uh, this is high level di uh, circuit diagram. Now I am quickly going to show you the code of my how the data is read from the Raspberry Pi GPIO pin and it is sent to the public broker. So now here you can see in my laptop I have opened two terminals that is ultrasonic.py and sub.py. Ultrasonic.py it measures the ultrasonic distance and it is captured in the Raspberry Pi and how it is transferring it to Boker. I've created I've imported all the relevant libraries for MQTT and for Raspberry GPIO pins. So I've created a function called publisher where it connects to public broker that is test.mosquito.org that runs on 1883 port and it publishes the distance onto a topic called hello world. Then we have a display function which actually displays the dynamic distance from the subscriber onto the LCD. And now I'll just quickly scroll down the code where I can see how the distance is getting calculated. So now you can see over here the distance is calculated by a formula called elapsed into 34,000 centimeter per second that is the speed of ultrasonic sound. Elapsed is stop minus start. So here stop and start is calculated using the while loop and this is it. So I will come out of this code. I will show you once it runs. Now the second window is a subscriber window. So here we are connecting to the public broker test.mosquito.org and here this particular subscriber is subscribed to hello world topic. So here one subscriber is subscribed to this topic. So we can open multiple subscribers that can subscribe to this topic and they can receive the message notification. So I'll come out from here as well. Now I'll run my subscriber code. So here you can see the subscriber has been connected to the public broker. 
now I'll run my uh, ultrasonic coat so here you can see the distance measurement so now I'll keep my hand over here and we can see a constant uh, distance uh, with some tolerance getting captured and here in the right window you can see the notification received so I'll just exit it and here in the LCD also here you can see the last distance what it got captured that is 11.42 so this is what I wanted to show as per the demo so based on the distance we can measure the number of count of the raw material being chopped by the machine and this will get displayed on the LCD screen. Thank you for the demo.